Hi, this is Lisa Wagner from Perona Marketing, and Joe's coming back to town tomorrow, and he's been gone for an entire month, if you can believe it. He was in Vietnam, and then he went to Galapagos, and while he was gone, the team and I have been working very hard on generating sales, because there's always that fear that when you leave on vacation, that nothing's going to be happening in the office, and we wanted to kill that thought entirely. And so we rolled out with a lot of campaigns this month, and actually... We still have a couple days left in the month, but it's by far the most successful sales march that we've ever had. So it's been very, very cool, and I want to offer you guys a, a couple of thank you gifts as a, a thank you for that because uh, we obviously couldn't make any sales without any of the cleaners and restorers that are purchasing our products. But in talking with some members about the campaigns that have been going out, a couple of them asked me how we track multiple campaigns when we've got them rolling out on top of each other and I thought that it might be a good idea to give you a little sneak peek to the backstage of Piranha Marketing and show you how we track or at least how my team and I track uh, the campaigns that have rolled out this month in case you don't have a system in place because when things are slow and I know some of you out there are slow right now then what you got to be doing is being real strategic with your marketing dollars and with your marketing campaigns and you want to be targeting not only for new business from people who've never used you before, but also especially your repeat business because those are the people who know you, who trust you, and be more apt to uh, bring you back into the home again. So I want to give you a backstage look. And um, so this is my desk here. And uh, I've got a couple different um, charts up here where I go and I track stuff. So let me get a little closer here so you can see what we do here. So this is my campaign. Uh, tracking chart. Um, I say mine but all the team contributes to this and so I like to have it up on the wall because I'm a very visual person. I like color obviously. I'm, I like to post up flyers that we have going out and I like to have a spreadsheet of all of our numbers so I can see how sales are going and where the revenue is coming and uh, so over here then for this is the month of March we list all of our key campaigns here and we've got some different columns here. We've got um, this is our uh, Nashville Restoration Day. We just put together a two-day hands-on restoration event for June in Nashville. Started selling it six days ago. And uh, so we put the name of the campaign, we put the price point, we put who's in charge of it, which is uh, our new Vice President David Brinkley, myself, and also Victoria. We put down what kind of media it's going out, which in this case was an email blast to our members as well as within our Piranha Central Forum. We uh, did that out on the 20th. Um, it was a multiple sequence of emails and calls. It went to uh, this number of people and targeting specific members. Um, it wasn't lead generation, it was just straight sales, but you have a column there for number of leads, number of sales from those leads, and then sales amount that's collected. So we had 49 seats sold which actually in the days that we're talking about is an astronomical number. Um, revenue that was collected and then the ROI and then the status of the campaign. So we kind of stack all the different campaigns that are rolling through here and then put on each of the columns the metrics that go along with it. And uh, I had said I was going to offer some gifts at the end of this video and one of them would be if you want a snapshot of the PDF of this so you could create your own chart. Some people do it electronically, we do both. We, uh, we do electronic and then uh, I like to have things on the wall that I can scribble on, that I can see changes and uh, I also like to see the campaigns that are actually going out which is what we have over here which this moves in and out of my office, but it's every single campaign that ran out. Um, we rolled out of here in March. And for example, this was the piece that we put together for Joe being gone. This was our alumni campaign to repeat attendees of our conference. And uh, I love that picture. Um, so, you know, we keep uh, track so that we know all the different offers that are out there. This is our renewal campaign for membership. This was the letter that was announcing our new buyers group. It was multiple sequence. Um, this is a prospect campaign that we rolled out to 21,000 different cleaning companies, offering the uh, free report for the kit, and then uh, multiple sequence on that one as well. This was actually the restoration 
sign up sheet, which um, we're limited to 100 seats and we sold 49, which is great because that campaign was all by email, so literally no marketing cost. And then uh, with the um, Rich Cleaner Conference campaign here, then we have um, that we actually in March hit our halfway point of seats sold, which was phenomenal, as well as booth sales. And then that's just a layout of our booth and we kind of mark which booths are already taken up. So it gives us in one clear snapshot all of our campaigns that are out there so it doesn't get confusing when people call in and, and ask about our particular offer. You know what's going on there and then you've got the exact metrics so that you can see how each piece is performing so that you can make sure that collectively you've got a ROI that is, in this case, it's one to almost 1 to 20, which is great. And that means that for every dollar that you spend, uh, you've got 20 in return, which I'll take that all day long. Um, so we had a great march. And uh, again, because of the question of how we track our campaigns, I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a snapshot of how we track it. And if you would like the PDF of that chart so that you could create one on your own, then I'd be more than happy to send that to you. But I wanted to think of something else that would be a gift to give you because we did have a great month. And again, um, you know, we can't do that unless there's people out there buying something from us. So uh, I know that not everybody watching this video will have been a purchaser, but I wanted to put something out there that would be a thank you gift to the industry at large because we've also gotten a tremendous amount of traffic to our blog and that was another one of our goals this month was to get more traffic to the Rich Cleaner blog which is where this video is going to be posted. So um, recently I was in Palm Springs, I was at the RIA convention and had the pleasure of seeing the keynote presentation by Dr. Hollowell and Dr. Hollowell is by far one of my favorite presenters, one of my favorite people and uh, he wrote a book called Crazy Busy, which is just wonderful strategies on how to deal with the overwhelm of today's world. And Joe did a marvelous, just absolutely knock it out of the park interview with Dr. Hollowell for his Genius Network series. And so I thought that, you know, I can give you technical marketing gift. You know, this campaign chart is a perfect example for that because you, you can track things and then you can create results in your business by, with that kind of business specific tool. But even more so, having some input and advice on how to deal with overwhelm and become more productive and become less anxiety ridden, that benefits every single part of your business. And so I thought it would be a good additional gift to offer to you as well. So I'm going to offer you the video for free and it's just going to be a link that you can go on through and listen to it or download it to listen to it on your iPod later and just wanted to thank all of you for making this month a wonderful month for us. Um, we missed Joe tremendously but we're sure that we're going to get a lot of uh, cool videos when he comes back and hopefully he's bought us all a gift um, and then we'll be happy to have him here again and going all crazy and bringing all that energy that he always brings back into the office because uh, we missed him but we were real happy with the results we were able to create because the team just did a kick-ass job while he was gone and, and uh, I'm excited to see his response when he sees all the results that were created. So thank you very much for helping us make this month such a success and I hope you enjoy the interview and I hope you enjoy the little chart that I send you and just have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you.